Good Sunday Morning! Sa umagang ito ay babiyahe tayo papunta sa shop ni Sir Marlon para magpapalit ng clutch lining ng aking broom broom. <laughs> Dahil dalawang taon na rin ang stop nito at pansin kong manipis na. Kaya naman habang nasa biyahe ako ay naisip ko, bakit ang daming parts ng CDT? Samantalang kapag chain drive ay sprocket set lang, ayos na. Sa video na ito ay sasagutin natin yan. Kaya naman samahan nyo ko at sabay tayong mag-refresh ng knowledge patungkol sa CBT. Huwag din maayang mag-like at comment para sa inyong reaksyon. Ang gearless scooter is one of the most common two-wheelers popular in many parts of the world. Kagaya na lang dito sa Pilipinas. They are typically equipped with an automatic transmission system. This transmission system is known as Continuously Variable Transmission or CBT. <laughs> Ang basic principle ng isang pulley-based CBT can be demonstrated by using this simple setup. It has a driver pulley, and a driven pulley with variable diameters. A V-belt with constant length runs between these two pulleys. High RPM is obtained by increasing the diameter of the driver pulley, and decreasing the diameter of the driven pulley, high torque naman is obtained by doing the opposite. This system allows us to achieve infinite number of drive ratios between the minimum and maximum limits, it is not possible to simply change the diameters of solid pulleys, as shown in this demonstration. Kaya ang mga engineer ay nagdevelop ng certain mechanisms to obtain similar mechanical characteristics, a variator assembly is used for this purpose here. The pulley is made up of two conical plates, one of them is fixed to the input shaft and the other is free to slide along its axis. A V-belt runs between these plates, the rear side also has two conical plates between which the belt runs one of these plates is fixed to the shaft, while the other can slide sideways. A compression spring o mas kilala natin sa tawag na center spring forces the sliding plate to stay close to the other plate. This forces the belt to stay at the highest diameter of this pulley in the driver pulley. The actual stiffness of the belt pushes the sliding cone farthest apart. This causes the driver pulley to have a minimum diameter. This is the condition of high torque, low RPM. Para naman ma-obtain ang high RPM, the diameter of the driver pulley decreases and that of the driven pulley increases. Let's understand how this is achieved in the actual scooter CBT. The sliding conical plate of the driver pulley has a set of rollers o mas kilala natin sa tawag na bola are shown here, when the engine is at low RPM. The rollers are held near the center of the pulley as the engine gains speed centrifugal force causes rollers to move outwards, along a curved surface. These rollers push against the ramp plate. Since the ramp plate is fixed, the sliding conical plate is forced towards the other plate. Tingnan natin ang pagbabago ng diameter sa slow motion. This is similar to the condition of high RPM, low torque, as we observed in the demonstration. This transmission system includes a centrifugal clutch assembly, the inner portion, consists of weighted arms held in place by extension springs. These arms are connected to the pulley, the clutch housing or bell are connected sa output gear when sufficient speed is reached, the centrifugal force causes the arms to swing outward and friction pads or lining engage with the clutch housing. The clutch housing or bell transfers power to the rear wheel through a gear train. Ngayon ay naintindihan ko na kung bakit magastos sa maintenance ang panggilid ng aking motor. Hindi kagaya ng motor na may manual transmission, ang gearbox ng ating scooter ay ang mismong panggilid. Maraming salamat sa animated demonstration galing sa Techno Mechanics YouTube channel, nasa description ng link nito. Ngayon ay tapos ng mapalitan ng clutch lining ng broom broom ko. Maraming salamat sa panunood at sanay kagaya ko, na refresh din ang inyong kaalaman patungkol sa CBT.